everyone. What is going on? So we have another showcase for you today, this time in the Open Ultra League, and we're actually taking a look at Shadow Mewtwo. So Shadow Mewtwo, very exciting. So I think the other two Pokemon are kind of random. I'm not really too sure uh, because I've seen uh, a couple different Pokemon throughout the videos. And he actually submitted me five battles, but we only have four because one of them was a duplicate. So perhaps a mistake, uh, but that's totally fine. Not a big deal. We still have four battles to take a look at today. And okay, Machamp is going to go down fast to this Togekiss, but at least it got a shield from Rock Slide. So bringing in Charizard. Oh man, that Dragon Breath. Not going to be doing a lot of damage, but at least maybe Charizard can uh, reach this Blast Burn and maybe KO and maybe hope to sweep with Shadow Mewtwo in the back. We'll have to see. This is going to be very interesting. So this Blast Burn coming out that will pick up the second shield. So able to get shields down from the opponent already, but an attack coming in. Will the Charizard shield this? They will shield it, recognizing that they would be taking a lot of damage with Charm with Shadow Mewtwo. So they, they have to get this Togekiss out of the way. So we do see a Blast Burn coming in. And this is going to be enough to KO that Togekiss. So Blastburn does get rid of Togekiss, switching into Mewtwo right now. So Mewtwo wants to land the Psy Shock, not able to do it unfortunately. Thunder Punch is going to be doing a lot of damage, but it's not going to be able to KO. And funny enough, we actually have Frustration on this Mewtwo. So unfortunately, it was not able to TM away Frustration, I guess, but that's okay. So able to KO that, Ampharos comes in to finish the job and can this Charizard get to a move? It cannot unfortunately. So gonna go ahead and lose the first game but that is okay. Um, you know perhaps just trying out different different Pokemon. Obviously Shadow Mewtwo is really spicy so um, okay gonna go ahead and lose that one but that's not a big deal. We'll go ahead and move into the next game. See how the next game plays out hopefully a little bit better. So it's going to be Dragonite this time into Swamp. But okay so a pretty good matchup for the Dragonite. It uh, looks like there's an Alolan Golem in the back as well with that Shadow Mewtwo. So this uh, Dragonite is just going to go ahead and take this hit. Going to be a Hydro Cannon, but Dragonite can take it. And going to just charge up extra energy. Going to be hit with another Hydro Cannon, but again, Dragonite can take it. But it does get the Dragonite pretty low because, I mean, it's not the bulkiest Pokemon in the world. We see a switch into Obstagoon. Okay, Obstagoon coming in. You do not want that Shadow Mewtwo up against Obstagoon, of course. And these are more fun battles, guys, right? Uh, so Golem is coming in. Golem is going to go ahead and be hit with an attack. So it will opt to shield this. So going to be that Crush Chop. So nice shield. But, um, okay, Rock Blast coming out. So hoping to do as much damage as possible. Obviously, I mean, yeah, you can't have that Mewtwo up against Obstagoon, right? Because uh, even though Counter is double resisted, not double resisted, but it's resisted, the Night Slash will be doing a lot of damage. So Crush Chop connecting and able to get off another Rock Blast into the Obstagoon. That's really nice for this Golem. So going to go ahead and go for that Rock Blast. Not enough to KO. But as long as you get it low, you can bring in the Dragonite and maybe Farm Down. Not going to risk the Farm Down. Just going to go ahead and go for the Dragon Claw to go for the KO. Uh, able to KO it as well. In comes that Swampet. Swampet's not going to be able to Farm Down. That's the good thing about it. Able to get to a Dragon Claw. So this Dragon Claw will KO. I wonder what's in the back. Is it something that Shadow Mewtwo can handle? I guess we'll find out. Oh my gosh, it's Venusaur. So it's going to get one shot by the Psy Strike. It does have a shield. It does have a shield, so Venusaur is definitely going to go ahead and shield this. But Mewtwo should be able to get to another one. They did sneak in a Psycho Cut, so we do see a shield right now. Going to be that Frenzy Plant. That would have KO'd Shadow Mewtwo. Able to get to it. This is going to KO it. As Zionic would say, it's going to give the BOOM! That's what Zionic would say, right? So able to KO that Venusaur. Mewtwo not going to have any part of it. Yeah, I mean, Shadow Mewtwo... So squishy. It, I feel like it's difficult to use, but when you're able to use it, when you're able, when you're able to get it going, it definitely goes to town. It does well. Uh, if you can get shields down from your opponent, um, you two can do really well. Whether it be the shadow one or the regular one. Obviously, once the team rocket event comes back, I do recommend TM away frustration, of course. But uh, it's not back right now, so we do have to wait for a team rocket event. So, uh, Dragon Claw coming out from this Dragonite. Uh, just chipping away at the Empoleon. Empoleon does have the neutral drill pack, so Dragonite is going to go ahead and shield this up. Um, okay, so going to go ahead and try to get to another one. Able to get to it, but over farming. Another attack coming in. Going to be another drill pack. Uh, Dragonite will allow this to go down, 
Oh, not go down. It doesn't KO because that was a Hydro Cannon. But uh, that's okay. So it wouldn't have KO'd, I don't think, anyway. But Dragon Claw, maybe it would have. I don't know. But Dragon Knight is able to win that. Did give up a shield, though. But at least it's able to take Switch. In comes Machamp. Uh, okay, going to go ahead and bring in Mewtwo. This is a Shadow Machamp as well. So it's taking a lot from Psy Psycho Cut, isn't it? So Muck is coming in. In comes Golem. So obviously Golem would rather be up against this Alolan Muck, right, than that Mewtwo. So going to be hit with that Dark Pulse, but Golem going to be able to take it. Going to Overfarm has enough for two Rock Blast attacks, so we actually might see two shields right now. So we're going to see one Rock Blast that does get the shield, and going for the Wild Charge didn't get to it quite yet. So going to go ahead and shield this one up. Yeah, obviously, as I said, you cannot have that Mewtwo on this muck, right? So going to go ahead and Overfarm. Going for the Wild Charge, does the opponent shield this, though? Like, I don't know. If I thought they would have shielded, I would have went for Rock Blast. They do actually shield... Can he get to another one? Going for the Rock Blast. Able to get to a Rock Blast. So, hey, that's awesome. So, this Rock Blast going to definitely do a lot of damage. And they both switch out at the same time. But that Muck has a lot of energy, though. It has enough for a Dark Pulse, doesn't it? It definitely does. Oh, another Scythe Strike comes out. This is going to KO, even though Muck resist. Well, no, Muck's neutral to it. Oh, no, Muck resisted. Muck resisted because Dark Double resist. So, and obviously, it's Poison is weak to it, so it's going to be single resist it. But still, Mewtwo is going to be able to get to two side strikes, KO that Muck, KO that Machamp. Great plays. Really well done. So let's go ahead and look at the final game of the video. So Dragonite into Articuno. Not a good matchup at all. Going to switch into the Mewtwo immediately. Mewtwo's taking a lot of damage. In comes Giratina. So Giratina ulted, obviously very bulky. Not going to appreciate these Psy Strikes, though. Another one actually just KOs. That's crazy. Uh, but will the Mewtwo shield it? It might shield to get off another Psy Strike. No, not going to shield. Just going to allow it to go down, okay? So in comes Dragonite. Dragonite is looking to farm down this Giratina all the way. Going to be able to take it, but we do see a shield. Uh, Dragon Claw would have done a good amount of damage. Uh, so we go in for the farm down. No, we're experiencing some lag. So Dragonite does get rid of that Giratina. In comes Articuno. So Articuno going for the Icy Wind. Unfortunately, Dragonite did not go ahead and throw up the shield immediately, but going to go ahead and shield now and then switch into Golem. We do see an Alolan Muck come out. This is going to be a tough one. The opponent is up two shields. So Muck is going to go ahead and go for an attack. Dark Pulse. Definitely going for the Dark Pulse, of course. So Golem does go ahead and take it. And now we do have two Rock Blast attacks. So Golem might be able to pick up a shield now. Because obviously, I mean, the opponent doesn't want that Golem up against Articuno, right? Because these Rock Attacks are going to be double super effective. So uh, I'm not going to double shield, but that's okay. Going for the Wild Charge now, not able to get it off. This is going to be a, a tricky one. This is going to KO the Alolan Golem. It does KO it, and in comes Dragonite. Dragonite does go for the, the Dragon Claw. Um, okay, so Dragon Claw is going to KO, and in comes Articuno. Articuno is going to be hit with this Dragon Claw, but Articuno it still has a shield. It should be able to win this just fine. Uh, even if it didn't have a shield, it would have been able to win, yeah. So Articuno is going to take this one, and it actually looks like we do have a fifth battle. I thought we only had four battles, but it looks like we're going to get another battle in here. So that's really nice. And as I said, just casual games. This trainer just going in for fun in the Ultra League. Wanted a shoutcast with Shadow Mewtwo and trying out some different Pokemon. That is awesome. As long as you guys are having fun, that's what you love to see, right? So, uh, Dragonite into Ormistor. So, Ormistor going to be doing... Okay, no. What is it? Ha what? Fast. Is that Mudshot? That might be Mudshot. I thought it had a rock fast move, but maybe that's Mudshot. Ancient Power going to be doing a lot of damage. Uh, Charizard's coming in. That Charizard does not have Dragon Breath, though, which is good. So we do see a Dragon Claw coming in from this Dragonite. And going to get the shield. Very nice. Oh, okay. Not even, I, I, I probably would have switched into a Golem. But Dragonite will go ahead and shield this one up. Now they're switching into Golem. Okay, makes sense. So Volt Switch doing a lot of damage. Going for the Rock Blast immediately. Okay, I mean, I think I would have attempted the Farm Down. Because even if you hit with a Blast Burn or Dragon Claw, it is... Uh, Resisted, so it's not going to KO. Golem actually going to shield, but at least, I mean, that Rock Blast did go ahead and pick up a shield, so that's very nice. Uh, so going to go ahead and farm down. Uh, and now this Golem does have quite a bit of energy. We do see a Venusaur come in. I think that was a Venusaur. It was definitely a Grass and Poison type. I'm not sure what it was, but yeah, I, I assumed it was Venusaur. Uh, so Venusaur is going to be able to take out the Golem, but not before it's hit with a couple of these Rock Blast attacks. So we're seeing another Rock Blast. 
and that's totally fine. In comes Dragonite, gonna go ahead and go for the Dragon Claw right now. So this Dragon Claw is going to get the Venusaur pretty low, the switch into Omastor. Omastor wants to get to an Ancient Power, gonna be able to. This definitely KOs Dragonite, no doubt about it. So Dragonite is gonna go ahead and go down. I'm um, gonna bring in the Golem, doing super effective damage, able to get to the Rock Blast. Are we even gonna see Mewtwo in this battle? We might actually not even see it in this battle. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and KO that Omastar, and Venusaur actually does get off a of Frenzy Plant, so we will see that Mewtwo. Mewtwo should just be able to go for a, sub a couple Psycho Cuts and KO though. Yeah, and that is gonna be a great game and a great set. I think that was 4-1 actually, uh, because he lost one game. I think he lost, did he lose two? He might have lost two, let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's a 3 -2. Okay, very po positive set, so that's nice. Uh, so thank you again for submitting these battles. I really do appreciate that, and I hope you all did enjoy. And I will see you in the next Shoutcast, guys. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.